Welcome everybody, this is SharePoint Patterns and Practices webcast and this time we're going to talk about the Office 365 CLI which is a command line tool which you can use to manage your Office 365 tenant. My name is Sasa Yuvonen, I'm a Senior Program Manager from SharePoint Engineering and with me uh, today responsible of the demo and obviously participating on the discussion is Waldek. So Waldek, will you do the quick, quick intros as well? Absolutely. Hi, everybody. My name is Valik Mastist. Gosh, I work at Rancor and I am Office Development and um, MVP. Excellent. Thank you, Waldek. So, the Office 365 CLI is a, a new tool which is released as an open source community driven initiative uh, under the SharePoint BMP umbrella. And Waldek is one of the persons coordinating that work. And there's a lot of, lot of uh, smart people participating on this open source initiative. And we do absolutely appreciate everybody uh, who are testing this out and providing us feedback and also contributing on the Office 365 CLI work. <laughs> Now, if you're not familiar what Office 365 CLI is, obviously, let's start by clarifying uh, where would you use that and what's the use case uh, for this CLI. So this is a cross-platform command line tool to manage your Office 365 tenant settings. So you're able to use this command line tool to connect to your Office 365 tenant and then manipulate settings. Like a classic example would be configuring CDN settings uh, within your Office 365 CDN, CDN settings in your Office 365 uh, tenant. It's built in Node.js uh, and using the typical CLI approach. Um, if you come from a Windows world, you would be like, uh, what? But if you're more on the non-Windows world, uh, this is actually quite typical and quite natural uh, for different technologies on different services to have these CLIs to be able to configure these settings. In uh, Windows world, world uh, classically these kind of things have been doing, have been done using the PowerShell, uh, which in the past was mainly for Windows operating system. In the future, PowerShell is actually also a cross-platform tool, but it's a, it's um, it's kind of an option uh, on the CLI-based implementations. Uh, so the, the key point here is that this does not replace the PowerShell. This is a additional, uh, well, alternative uh, for the tooling build. For some people, it's more natural to write PowerShell commandlets and PowerShell scripts. For some people, it's more natural to use Node.js and CLI-based implementations. And like mentioned already, this is community-driven, uh, so ideas and questions are always welcome, and also contributions uh, around these commands, uh, commandlets, and co sorry, commands, not commandlets in this case, right? <laughs> Correct, correct. <laughs> so, but all of the, the uh, feedback and, and, and contributions are more than welcome. Anything what I'm missing in here, um, just to reiterate the message one day? No, so that's actually you put it per perfectly, right? It's, it's not a replacement for anything, it's just addition. It's, it's an extra option. And as you said, it's an open source initiative, and we welcome help not only in a form of development, but also in the form of documentation, marketing material like videos, walkthroughs, scripts, right? So even if you are not a dev you're, you're, you're yourself, but you are, for example, an admin and you write scripts, well, you could also help us showing others what scripts you use, how you use CLI, and actually help them use it too. So it's really broad um, spectrum of the things with which you could assist us. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, on uh, obviously the next question is, okay, I now I know what is an Office 365 CLI, but how do I actually get started on using that? So there's actually a great set of documentation available uh, on this one. So if you go AKMS uh, Office 365 CLI, O365 CLI, uh, you will be redirected to the right documentation location. And from there, you can actually find then the instructions on how to get started, how do you connect to Office 365, and what are the commands uh, available. Obviously, the CLI has a really great help uh, files as well, so you're able to get the, the descriptions of the commands through the CLI as well. But if you're not familiar with the CLI, how it actually works, um, go to the documentation and it will uh, show you step by step how to get started. Now, installing the Office 365 CLI is uh, running the NPM uh, install or I and uh, G would mean that you install that globally and then at BMP is the scope where we will have more and more community driven initiatives uh, through SharePoint BMP and Office 365 CLI is the package name. And after when you install that, then you're able to start using the CLI commands in the command uh, command tool. 
uh, like SBO Connect, and then you set the URL where you actually want to connect. And we'll show all of this in practice in the demo as well. So super easy, uh, approachable. Obviously, this supports scripting scenarios as well, so you don't have to be interactive, interactively signing in. Right, uh, right, Valdek? So you're able to correct. do Correct, absolutely uh, correct. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Now, to be able to understand what this all means, and if you're not super familiar with the CLI setups, uh, let's actually have a live demo uh, on this one. So Waldeck is going to show how to get started, how to install, how to do the connection, uh, how to configure, uh, and what are the options around the command, uh, com actual commands, and also how to do runtime help. So get the, the in descriptions of individual commands so you know what's actually available. So let's jump to a demo on Waldeck's computer and talk about more on, uh, on the CLI. All right, so let's start with the first thing that, that you have to do, meaning install CLI. So here we assume that you've already uh, installed Node.js, which is a prerequisite, right? So as we said, uh, CLI is built in Node, so in order to run it, you have to have Node installed. Uh, we assume that you've already on that, so then the next step is to actually install it. And you, 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 you can install it um, either using NPM or Yarn or any other package manager that you might use. So for that, you would run npm install global and then pnp office 365-cli or for short npm i-g and then the, uh, a package name. And that will actually pull down the package from NPM and unpack it and install it on your machine, and you will be able to use it. It's done already. So with that, I get, I get a new access or access to new command called O365. And I can start, I can use CLI in two ways. I can use it in an immersive mode like this where I, uh, where I run it see that the command prompt changed from uh, the initial one that I had in the OS in Bash to 0365 prompt, right? And in here, I have directly access to all commands in CLI. So with that, I can list all commands for uh, sh 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 SharePoint, and then I can zoom in to each group, right? Because the commands that CLI offers are, are grouped. So for that, for example, let's see list of commands for uh, working with the Office 365 CDN. So for that, we type SPO CDN. And here you can see the list of the things that CLI allows you to, to do, right? To, so to check whether CDN is, is, is enabled, to manage origins, policies, and all that. Another way to work with CLI is to work it, to use it directly within Bash. Right, and the reason for that is that if you wanted to write a script, like for example in here, you can for example get a list of files that you have on your your disk. If if I would type ls here, well that would that won't work because ls is not a command within CLI. So with that, you can close CLI and you can start it directly here. So in here, you you can also run 0365 SPO and you will get exactly the same output, meaning list of commands for SPO, and then you can zoom into EDN and you will get exactly the same output. And and this way, in the non-interactive way, that allows you to write basically scripts using CLI, right? And and that gives you the access to both CLI commands and access to all other tools and commands that you have installed on your uh, um, shell. So with this, after you in, installed CLI, the next step that you have to do is, is you have to, to connect to your, 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 your tenant. And in the way it works in CLI is that you connect per service. So like SharePoint or Azure AD Graph, the Microsoft Graph, or any other services supported within CLI. The reason for that is, is that from Azure AD point of view, there are separate things, right? So you cannot connect to one and then assume that you already have access to another. And also that gives you the ability to use different accounts to manipulate different things because you might work with two environments at a time or you want you want to have one account to access something and then use another account to access your sites or files so that gives you that ability so with that let's connect to sharepoint using the 0365 spo connect command and we follow that with url and here let's enter the url of our tenant admin site so with that we let 3 
to 4, and that's the tenant that I use every day. So by now, I know the URL by heart, SharePoint.com, and that will prompt me to go to this site, aka.ms device login, and enter this code. In CLI, we use what's called a device code flow because we are in command line. So here, we cannot launch a browser window because... CLI works in Linux, on Mac, on Windows. It could also work in Docker, Terminal, or Remote Shell, right? So there is no way for us to rely on anything related to UI. So with that, we use this flow, meaning we go to this URL. We open that in browser, and you can open that on your phone. You can open that anywhere, right? So it doesn't have to be the same machine. And this opens the Azure AD device login page. And in here, you paste the code that you have displayed here in command line. And with that, you sign in, and you choose the account with which you want to sign, right? So, And this account has to match this URL, right? Because otherwise, uh, you would try to sign into one, one tenant with another account, and that wouldn't work, right? Because that account would not have access to this site. So so the, the account you use here has to match the URL you provide here. We, we pick the account, and we are... I, 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 in CLI retrieves, uh, a, f- a few, uh, um, additional things. And now we are done. And with that, we get the access to basically everything that CLI supports with regards to working with your tenant. So for, for example, here we can check if the CDN is enabled or not. And we do that using the 0365 SPO CDN get command. And what you will see it is, it is either true or false. And you can get a more user-friendly way by adding the verbose switch. Right, so that will tell you exactly what command does, and you can see that it is enabled. The reason for the short ver- ver- version of, of true and false is, is that when you use CLI to build scripts, you have to pass the output of one command to another. And if you passed all of this text, well, you would have to parse this text in another command to see the output, right? So we chose to have two modes where you can have the simple output that you can use uh, um, to pass output from one command to another when you build scripts, and then you can have the more user-friendly verbose output when you can more easily see what's going on. All of the help for all commands is available both in two, or you can access that in two ways. So first of all, when you work directly in CLI, you can use it directly here by adding to each command dash dash help. And that gives you a listing of all available options, what command is for, any remarks, if any, examples, and all that. And exactly the same info is also available on our uh, website that we have with all the docs. So in here, you would go to aka.ms slash 0365CLI, for, for short. And that brings you to our website that we have with all the docs, listing all commands, the user guides, and all of that. And you can see exactly the same info here. So in two places, we show exactly the same things. So no matter if you are on the web or in command line, you can actually see the same info. Additionally, on our site, we give you a walkthrough through um, uh, how you install, use CLI, connect, output modes, and basically everything that you can do with, with CLI. And we also give you an insight into some more advanced concepts within CLI. Uh, as an example on there, just a pinpoint on the advanced scenarios, yeah. it is explaining the script, uh, so persistent connection information and all of that, so you're able to create those scripts uh, as such. Exactly. So, yeah. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So with that, I hope that gives you a good overview of the CLI, what it can and, and can do. Um, Vesa, is there anything you want to add or ask? Uh, not really. I think that this great walkthrough on the on the basic capabilities and and from a user's perspective, this is relatively simple. The only thing that you might actually show is that where is the the code currently located and where people can go and ask, uh, well, submit issues or feedback or pull requests. Sure, uh, sure. So here, if you go to again aka.ms all three six five CLI, in here you have the the link to GitHub repo, and from here. You have the access to all our issues, pull requests. We manage the project uh, here in GitHub, so you will see all discussions, issues, how we go back and forth. 
which additional things we are planning to do and for which we could use some help, uh, which docs we want to add and for which we also need help. And you, 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 you can also see who's working on what and what releases included what. So all of that is, is included here. We offer docs how to help you uh, contribute help. So here we have the guides, uh, like how, we, how you can clone, repo, set it up. So all of this is included in, 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 in here. And one more question on this one. So if I have a random question on the CLI, uh, like, hey, is it supporting X and Y and Z, or is that mm -hmm. in the roadmap, what would be the channel of asking that question? Yes, so for that, we have a, a different place where we talk uh, uh, about things, and you can, you, can, you can access that from our page. So here is a link to Gitter. And with this link, you will access that page, and here you can see all the talks that we have about different things, how we go back and forth, our announcements, stats. Every month we also share stats about um, how many people you see, like what do they use, and everything else, right? So if you have, if you want to ask anything, this is the place for you to go, and you can easily access that from our repo by following the Gitter link in here. Excellent. Cool. I think that's it for the demo part. So let's go back on the slides and close up the webcast. Thank you, Waldek. Excellent. Thank you, Waldek, one more time for that one. So let's recap slightly. Office 365 CLI, cross-platform command line tool built in Note. Um, it's not a replacement for PowerShell, it's an additional tool uh, and an option for you to take uh, advantage if you're interested. Um, again, it's a matter of a preference. Maybe potentially for Windows people, at least in the past, it has been more natural to use PowerShell if you're a PowerShell guy. If you want to have a look on this one and this is more suitable for you for your mentality, basically, uh, you're absolutely uh, fine to use that. So it's a matter of choice. Um, and this is an open source initiative. So all of this stuff, please keep on the feedback coming. Uh, please go to the issue list and, and provide us contributions and feedback around the GitHub location. We'll have all of the links to the GitHub available in the video notes. And also, if you go to that documentation address, uh, you can find the GitHub location uh, from the doc documentation as well. Anything what I'm missing, Waldek? Yes. So the one the, that I want to add, aka.ms slash 0365 CLI. Remember that and see you there. <laughs> Sounds good. That's a great selling statement. Excellent. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Waldek, for this one. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for watching. And we'll come up with a new webcast sooner or later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.